Oh yeah, I think we're gonna have a great team. I think everyone came back improved, and um, we're on the same page. Last year was more of a, the beginning was more of a learning process, and like everyone's trying to get up to speed. But this year, we have a lot of guys back, so I think it'll be smooth at the start for sure. And just we're gonna try to peak at the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think so. I think it'll make a difference. I think it'll be good at the start. OG, how do you feel like that continuity specifically helped on defense? I feel like you and like Fred and Pascal obviously had some experience running Nick's defense, a lot of moving parts, but with a lot of new guys last year, mm-hmm. Fred and Gary, uh, Scotty. So like them having gone through a four year and maybe like figured out a little bit uh, the connectivity required to like run that defensive system, like what does that look like? Uh, I think everyone's on the same page. Everyone knows like the rotations, next rotation, next where everyone's going to be. So I think everyone's on the same page now, more so than we were last year at the beginning. What do you think is the most difficult part of executing that defensive team? I don't know. Just, I don't know. Just as the rotations go on, you know, communicating, making the next rotation, being there, talking, as the, uh, as the position goes on. So it's easy at the beginning, but at the end, continuing to talk and be the next, be there for the next man. How would you describe the defense at the beginning of last year? I think it was pretty good, but it was just everyone was learning still, so it's different. How helpful is it to have a guy like Christian Coloco who can learn on the fly communicating him during timeouts? And what have you seen specifically about his game that he can add for this team? Um, oh, it's great having Christian out there, you know, um, a lob threat, rim runner shot blocker, presence in the paint, rebounder. So it's just great having him back there. And then, uh, yeah, he covers up a lot of mistakes. Someone gets beat or someone blows the coverage, he's back there blocking the shower, or at least, if not blocking, altering it. So it makes a big difference having him back there. Do you know what it's like to go from first year to second year? What have you seen from Scotty Barnes in this camp? What has either surprised you or impressed you? Uh, just, he works hard every day. Um, he takes advice from everyone, and he's not scared to mess up. What do you expect from him this season? He's gonna have a great year. What part of your game you're a leader sometimes on the floor? If you're able to try and impart that wisdom or skill off the team, what do you most often teach your teammates? Um, I don't know. I'll say I guess defensively, guarding like one on one. For like anticipating for like steals or blocks or just, but that comes from also knowing the defense and knowing the rotations and stuff. So probably stuff like that. Oh, just you know, reading the, uh, the uh, other side of the like if you're on the weak side, reading the top of the key, the ball handler, reading his eyes, uh, trying to guess where the next pass will go, and then if you're wrong, trying to guess where it's going to go the next time. How <laughs> to scramble defense, but just just learning from it, yeah, and watching film. Watching other teams' tendencies, stuff like that. Yeah. Um, I think it'll help me. I think it'll help everyone. Help the team. Uh, just it'll help everyone. Yeah, yeah, I never want that to happen, so, yeah, no one wants that. I hope no one has that happen to anyone. I hope they're all healthy this year. No injuries this year, yeah. that's what I've heard. Knock on wood. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Afternoon. <laughs> Time, man, it's time. Uh, had a good preseason, great preseason, great summer. Uh, I think we're all looking forward to getting out there and um, landing on the line, and you know, we'll see what happens. We're excited and we're looking forward to a you know good turnout. The beginning of the season is an exciting time for us, for everybody, especially the fans. So, um, can't wait for Wednesday night. I mean, yeah, you guys did so much work over the summer, and then you know, obviously with the continuity on the roster, it's gonna. Pay dividends? Have you seen it? Pay dividends even uh, outside of actually the games? Yeah, you would hope so. I mean, you don't do all of that to not get off to a good start. So, 
Um, it's always a challenge, you know, trying to find that rhythm and that, that flow early on in the season. We understand it's a long year, but you definitely want to get off to a good start and, um, you know, work your way up. But uh, we'll see. Um, yeah, it's tough, but again, I think um, I saw a quote like the best, you know, some experiences you got to experience to learn the lesson, you know what I mean? So I think last year was a great experience. You, know, you got to go through it to understand it. Um, and we went through that some last year. So having the same group back, you will hope that you have some carryover, just understanding the value of possession and getting up for the game and being ready to go. And um, those are all things that will carry you on, on a schedule in a, in a year that's, that's pretty um, trying and you know, difficult to get through. How do you bring that out in your team? Because they take their lead from you in a lot of yeah. ways. Yeah, I mean, first I just do it first. You know, I do it first and foremost. It's just something that's been instilled in me since I was a child, and I cuss a lot. So <laughs> those are my two secrets. Uh, I try to lead by example, and when that doesn't work, I cuss. And when that doesn't work, you know, I wait for the guys to, to get up for the games. But, now nah, we're all in the fight together, and, uh, you know, my teammates, I, I, I count on them just as much as they count on me, and, and that's what makes it a, a great relationship. Trial and error, yeah, yeah. trial and error. <laughs> but now you, you develop relationships with guys, and um, part of being a leader is knowing your teammates and, and knowing the relationships. And um, you know, it's a fine line for sure. In terms of the leading by example, is there something you do now that you? I mean, I'm sure there are a lot of things, but that you weren't doing in year one, year two, that you want people to see your teammates to see. That I wasn't doing? No, not really. I try to do the same stuff. I mean, I may not do every single possession in practice like I used to or um, you know I, I certainly let young guys get the reps in I'm not trying to steal every rep but for the most part my preparation is the same if anything I work harder now than I did you know as a young guy so just trying to find ways to continue to, to climb up and um, come in early and, and you know set the tone myself Pascal is something that we saw when we came in from the leaders at the time and something that we've tried to carry on as tradition. Yeah, I think last year was just different because it was a new team. So some of the things that you yell and preach and try to teach, they, they have no point of reference. And I talked about that a little bit last year where some of the things just didn't really have a point of reference, and now we do. We had a, a full season. We had experiences. We had games. We had practices, hard times, good times, playoffs. So we had a little bit of everything, and um, you use some of those to rely on, and there's not really – any inexperience going forward this year, but we still are growing as a team and it's still a very young team. What's the next step for squad Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not really into that, so I'm probably not the best person to ask that question, but um, uh, I believe in him. I, uh, I believe in him. I believe he can be as good as he wants to be. And, um, you know, all I care about is that he's a winning player, he's a great teammate, and he's a good kid and a good person. You mentioned working harder now than you did your first couple of years. Are there maybe key ways in which you work smarter than you did? Oh, yeah, for sure. Like I said, let the young guys take the reps. Uh, just, you know, pace yourself. But uh, definitely still, you know, get your individual work in early before practice starts and make your way through practice and just try to set the tone and make sure that, you know, it's kind of my job is to make sure we get through a good practice. And when we don't, you know, uh, I blame myself. So I try. I got a pretty good track record, though. Uh, that's a great question. I don't know. I don't know. It depends on the situation. I think it's all challenges, to be honest. I think everything presents equal challenges. Um, there's definitely, you know, more guys trying to prove themselves than there are leaders. Um, so you could look at it that way. But uh, I think, you know, trying to, for me, trying to get in and, and work on my way in, that was the easy part. Not easy in terms of what I had to go through, but sticking around and having a long career and, and keep elevating and, um, you know, 
keep growing year by year. There's guys ahead of you. There's guys coming after you that are chasing you. So, um, you know, that's that's a more challenging to me at this stage of my career. But I'm also, you know, seven years in. So, um, right, we've heard guys over the past few years talk about playing with a contract, trying to, be, trying to do too much. How do you put a contract on the line? How do you approach the season with those things on the line? I don't play for that. So uh, I've been blessed to be in a position that my success and, and my individual success is pretty much based on how the team does. The way I play is um, relative to how the team does. Um, I've always won. I've always been a winner. Um, and I'll continue to strive to be that. So if we do well, um, that means I'm probably playing well and the team is doing well and um, you know everything else will work itself out. But uh, I don't, that doesn't factor into my day to day thinking or preparation or anything. And um, it's working for me so far. I don't plan on changing it. Will you guys talk into the season or is that something? You what do you mean? Contract talk for the team? Will you? I don't talk about contracts publicly. Um, it's just something that I'm not going to do. Um, but again, I'll give you a cliche answer. I love being a Raptor. I love playing here. and. I love Masai and Bobby and Mr. Tannenbaum and Coach Nick and uh, all my teammates. So, uh, you know, again, the f focus is on the Cleveland Cavaliers and, you know, um, starting out the season on a good note. Fred, uh, with the way that you guys play defense and like, how health conscious it is and the connectivity and communication requirement that you guys how hard was it last year having to work in a bunch of new people? How much different is it going to be starting out this year? Yeah, it's tough. I think for me, understanding, having a good understanding of the system, um, trying to share that understanding um, was was difficult because, again, you have to go through live reps and breakdowns and you have to make a ton of mistakes before you can learn it. But um, I think we're in a good spot now. Pretty much everybody has an understanding of what we're trying to do. Um, but it is, it's, it's a lot. And um, coach asks a lot. Um, that's what makes them, you know, one of the best. And um, we got to continue to to try to do it every single day and, and um, make our strides. Uh, but it's a, it's a long journey, and um, you know I think we're in a good spot starting off. Fred, you said you didn't want to be late in the plan against Boston last year, but what was the biggest offensive adjustment you guys that you made in between Game One against Boston this preseason, and then a couple nights ago that you guys had success with? I don't know. It's preseason, bro. I don't know. I don't really remember, to be honest, but I think <laughs> my first stint in, uh, I know when I checked out in Boston, it was 22 to 20, and when I checked out the other night, it was 90 to 91 or something like that. So there you go. Uh, you can break down the film and, and come up with your own conclusions. I'm not going to do that for you. What's with the WNBA shirt? Do you rep the game those games? Yeah, just supporting. This is Shelby. Shelby gave me this, so shout out to Shelby. This, uh, I just thought it was a dope shirt. Turnovers. Yeah. Yeah. No, mine. Yeah, for sure. Turnovers. Um, but I usually, I don't watch, I, I like to watch other film. Uh, I watch myself, but I watch a lot of other film first, like opposing team, game planning, you know, scouting what they do and how they're playing, things like that. But uh, if I'm watching myself, I go for the turnovers first. A read that I used to miss? Nah. Not that I could think of. I definitely had to learn like how fast guys close the gap or taking the extra dribble into the crowd, things like that. Um, so I'm a little more sure with it now than I was, but um, you know, learning for sure. Chris or Otto? Um, Chris uh, practiced most of the practice today, uh, which was which was a lot of live action. So see how he comes out of that. But uh, looked looked good, um, and Otto did not practice. Do you have any sort of update on Otto in terms of? Well, I don't, I don't, I don't, Eric, and I, and I apologize. I think I said uh, the other night in Montreal a few weeks or a couple weeks, and, and um, I got to, I got to, I guess uh, those those injuries are are funny, you know, the hamstrings and stuff, and um, um, I, I guess I get miss. Uh, spoke on that the other day so Human I thought it, I thought it, yeah I thought it was gonna be longer longer than that so that's good news yeah. don't we rarely get the uh, yeah. the good news come like that so that's good news yeah Nick, there's four Canadians selected in the last draft and then you have a second year guy like Delano on this team what, 
can you say about this upcoming crop, <laughs> it feels like, of like really young guys who are maybe going to surprise some people this year? Well, um, I think this is like a key moment in a lot of guys' careers, right? This is you've been selected, you're in, and now can you, you know, kind of grab your um, place, right? And, and, you know, I think there's a lot of them that are working their way into that. There's obviously some guys that are really shining bright in the preseason um, as well. Delano's played very well for us, so, you know, sticking with our guys. He's played very well, and um, that is good. I, again, I just I don't really know what else to say. He's had that good summer. He comes back. He's confident. He's just played, you know, it, literally all his minutes have been really good here this preseason. Let's just, uh, again, how do you grab your place? Well, it's consistency, right? When you get those 10, 12, 15, 18 minutes, you got to, you know, you got to, hold the, st the ship steady or you know or have productive minutes and um, that's how you kind of grab that spot and and stay in the league right just the progression that anyone goes through from, from maybe good to great to superstar in whatever league or whatever sport you're playing where is Scotty Barnes on that progression and where do you see him going to um yeah, f I mean, listen, first of all, I think um, when you look at a rookie season where you get rookie of the year and do all the things he did at the age of 20, now 21, I think you're probably looking at somebody who's heading towards um, multiple all-stars. And, and I, I would think he, he's kind of got a little superstar element to him already, you know, and maybe not in, maybe not in like, you know, in, in, a, in a way. So that's a little bit tricky there. But... I mean, listen, he did all he could do last year. He played a ton of minutes. He kept getting better and tougher. Um, and now he's just got to kind of run it back. And I just keep saying that, um, you know, will he play with the enthusiasm and energy uh, this season like he did just about every time out last year? Or, or at some time in the game, he finds it, right? He'd have some quiet first half sometimes, but not, for, not and all of a sudden fourth quarter hit, and there he'd be in his competitive drive. So. Um, I think if he keeps that up, again, he's stronger and his skills are better, and and um, he should just kind of keep heading this direction. Is that as the season begins upon us, the things you're most excited about? Well, um, again, I think that I uh, hate to kind of use the whole same line I used last year all the time as what would a successful season be for him would be a ton of minutes, <laughs> right? I would I would probably think we're still in that mode. Um, I you know again I just the movements that he made last year and getting better were being more ing more aggressive consistently. You guys heard me talk about that all the time. Just be more aggressive, take more opportunities, get the ball and bring it up the floor and take it to the rim. And you know, and and that again is still where we are. Can he get to the point where he's used to being a, a, a more of a high usage usage player? And if he is, then again the numbers will go up. Presumably, if he's asked to do more things more often. Some of the, like, he might be. He's bringing, asked. Yeah. He's he, asked. He might, yeah. he might bring <laughs> the enthusiasm, but the more you have to do, the, you know, sorry. If he's asked to do more, he might struggle at those newer things or the things he's being asked to do more of. Is there like a patience for that? <laughs> <laughs> Is there a Let me see if I can figure that one is out here real quick. No, no. Listen, I think I think Eric. It's more of this: is the things he's doing. Uh, it's probably more quantity of what he's already uh -huh. doing, right? It isn't like, okay, we got five more new moves, five more new moves you need to work on every night. We want to see those twice a night. It isn't that. It's it's more of content when you see openings, man. Go down and put the guy in the rim. You know, put him on your back and put him in the rim. When you when the ball gets swung around to you take the shot, you know, yeah. rhythm, rhythm type of things that, that um, I think it's kind of what we talked about in the aggressive category yeah. of last year. Yeah. Being aggressive, being aggressive. Along with patience, um, pushing elbow, obviously in game, there seems to be this willingness to be taught in game. And there's a lot of feedback, I think, in the preseason that, you know, was shown on the bench. But when you're thinking about going into the season, there's a little bit more sense of urgency. Do those conversations pepper off at all or during these times leading up to the regular season? Uh, no, I think I think we're gonna. You know, we try to coach on the fly, especially with a rookie and a young guy. Just whatever, whatever the questions are, or whatever we see that that can be a helpful pointer. You know, for sure, as much as we can. Uh, um, and again, he's kind of like uh, uh, 
you know, a couple of the other guys and that he kind of, the things he does, he just needs to keep doing, right? Like, like I tell him, take, take more swings at the block shots. Like, you know, it's like, it's like, if you want to block more shots, take more swings, more, more quantity, right? Uh, continued offensive rebound. I thought he was, I thought he was uh, really on the glass the other night. I mean, he, he was, it looked like there's a pile of guys in front of him and he'd somehow reach over the top of them and tip it back out to our guy. He looked really big and long out there the other night, I thought, and, and that's good. I think it's, it makes a hard defensive rebound for the other team when he's out there. And again, just, just more of that stuff. It's, it's really little things, doesn't really show up sometimes in, the, in his personal stat sheet, but really impacts our scoreboard. Um, it's good to see. I don't know if it's surprising or not. I mean, he is, you know, seven plus and he's long and he's got, you know, some athleticism. There is, there is a knack for the ball. I mean, I'm not sure, you know, guys have a knack for the ball till you see him do it, right? He does have a knack for like figuring out where it's going to be or where it's going to bounce or whatever. And there's a, that's a skill. I mean, it's a little bit of a Nate skill, I think sometimes, but it's a skill. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, listen, I think that um, I, I think we're always eager to play, you know, games that matter. I think um, we understand we got to really compete and and those are all good teams. But I think, you know, you and I, all of us will probably be talking about this during the course of the season. But pretty much every night when we go out there, we're going to have to compete to play. It doesn't really matter all that much like I think we know we can play with the best teams and we know we got to better play well against some of the you know everybody so that's it we got to we got to kind of worry about ourselves putting a, a super effort out there and coming at you in waves and coming at you with defense and and doing our best to, to win any game. Um, well I think that um, the continuity um, showed itself at different times in the preseason, and then it didn't as well, but that was probably continuity related, right? I think that there was a little bit of, of tough travel, and there was nights when, when we didn't have a ton of energy, but then it, it wasn't like, oh, this isn't who we are, you know, like this isn't who we are. Those were just kind of circumstances of the, of the, the schedule, the up and down schedule, the travel, the long road trips, and hard practices, you know, some of that was my fault. I really practiced them hard right in the middle of all that, right? So, um, I don't know, I think I think I saw some guys getting ready to play and guard and and play with great energy and, and the ball started moving a little better. I thought our organization on offense has gotten better over the last couple games as well, a lot better. Um, so that's good to see. Yeah. It's about to begin. What do you expect from this team, and, and how good can they be? Well, I'm, I'm expecting us to, to be hard to play against, right? I'm expecting us to go out there and, and play with tremendous effort um, and, you know, really, really feed off of each other and feed off of the, the kind of momentum that energy creates to, to you know, I think we got to be – a team that outplays you know another team or every team we're playing and that's what I expect to see and I think if we do that I, I would imagine this team will continue to grow right I imagine if if the effort energy and I think they're picking up schemes pretty good you know there's some carryover from last year um, and we ought to be pretty good oh yeah for sure for sure man it's a it's a long time in between games now and this is uh, it's just such a the competitive drive and spirit for myself and for the players just goes, you know, up up really high, and that uh, that's what it's all about.